know guys love to be the new and they don't want to chase, but you have to chase. Don't mind chase you? Uh, I don't really answer DMs. I don't give them the chance. Okay, but you want them to chase you, but you're not going to answer them. Yeah, keep going. One day I will. One day you will? Yeah, okay. when you're deserving. Who do you think you are? Huh? Who do you think you are? Humble thyself. With them Walker's Texas Ranger jeans on. You serious? You don't give them a chance. How dare you? I'm not really sure where the confidence and the audacity that these fellas are walking around with nowadays have is coming from. But if you want to walk around with big dick energy, I'm sorry to break it to you. You have to have a big dick. You can't be out here one inch wonder and think that you're about to be playing with females. And that's just how it's about to go. That's not how it works, baby Peter. What do you consider small? Because what's small to you may not be small to somebody else. Just how us men and our parts come in all shapes and sizes. Ladies, some of y'all parts come in all shapes and sizes too. So if we gonna be out here body shaming the man and talking about he too small, have you ever thought maybe you too big? Maybe you too deep. Maybe you don't have a normal size vagina. You hear that sound? Like you don't have a normal size vagina? That shit sound up don't it depending on how sexually active some of you fellas is you came across that open space warehouse how are you ladies 25 26 what are your biggest red flags in a guy right now still living at home with her parents we're 26 or older like move out it's time to be on your own but do you think a man is hey you know what's crazy about that i used to say the same thing and part of me feel like that, that at a certain age, you should just move out and have your own place. But I don't know if, if it's a cultural thing. Because there's other cultures where the kids will stay with their parents way into their 30s. Gonna look at you and say, oh my God, she's living at home. Absolutely not. No. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. No. Depends on the guy. Dudes don't care. In your eyes, why do you think you're still single? Oh. <laughs> That's a good question. That's a great question. What's to say we're single? I can tell by how you're dressed. Oh, <laughs> oh snap. Okay. Damn. You are single, right? I am. <laughs> you wouldn't dress like this if you if you had a man. If they're okay with me having a girls night wearing this, what's the problem? You think most men would be though? I don't know if I've ever seen you get that um that spicy with anybody. Again, the whole living at home thing, I'm not sure, dog. Because I feel as though everybody need to experience what it's like to have your own place. Especially at a young age. It's a slight flex to be the woman that men do things for that they normally wouldn't do. Like, example, when a man be like, yeah, I ain't never did that before, but shorty, for you, I might just, hey. And they be like, hey, you finna do that for little old me? Now, you are very attractive, and I'm pretty sure... It's guys out here that would travel to the ends of the earth for you. But we be lying. Just how females be lying, we be lying too. For me. For I. Tiny Todd. Like, you would do that for me? Okay, bet. Pack it up, baby. Wear the ring. Because at this point, like, men be like, you know, shit, I, I, I suck a toe. I ain't even into feet like that. <laughs> and I be like, but why would you do that with me? Well, because you got pretty feet. And I'm like... I mean, yeah, but still, like, I'm not into that. But it'd be, like, the principle behind, like, you would do it for me. It's a flex. It's a flex. It's like a subtle flex because I'm humble about it. I'd be like, nah, you ain't got to do it if you ain't even really into it. I ain't even into it, so you're good. But it's just the, it's the flex of knowing that I make a man feel so comfortable that he would do some shit that he's uncomfortable doing. Fellas, you ever been with a young lady and, you know, y'all chilling? It's getting hot. And she decided to go down on you, but, you know, she hit you with the... I don't really do this, you know what I'm saying? Don't laugh at me. And then she pulled a goddamn... Let me tell you something. If you ain't never done that before, ain't no way you doing that. This is a special move right here. And ain't no way you just gonna automatically do that if you ain't had no practice. Yo, tell me how <laughs> some girl just cursed me out. You could tell a psycho when you see one. You hear that laugh? 
Tell me how <laughs> that laugh right there. <laughs> she crazy. When I was walking past her because I smiled at her because I thought her outfit was cute. But she probably thinking to herself, she thinking I'm laughing at her. And she's a cute girl. And I'm like, so I turned around and she said to me, I don't know what the fuck you laughing at, you mad, ugly bitch. <laughs> and I'm like, I know I'm not ugly. So I turned around and I said to her, why are you cursing me out? I was like, I'm complimenting your outfit and actually look really cute. And she was like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just getting tired of people talking about me and talking shit about me. And I was like, well, you know, you can't just assume because somebody's looking at you and they smiling at you. They laughing at you because... Hold on, son. I feel what you're saying, but at the same time, baby, you from New York. You already know the rules to up top. You can't be staring at people, especially staring at people and smirking and smiling. You can't be doing that. I actually what past you. So I'm like, I actually like your outfit, and I think oh, you look pretty cute. pretty as hell. And this is how I know I'm getting older, because, like, if that was the old me... Oh my god, I probably would have like cursed her ass right the fuck back out. We probably would have got into a fight and everything. Because walking past somebody and smiling at them and getting cursed out is crazy because like that don't make no sense. But she said, you know, she did tell me people be making fun of her and stuff. So I felt bad. I actually gave her a hug and all that. I'm like, damn, she probably insecure. The lighting hit different when she got inside. I'm going to tell y'all a story that's similar to this. I've been living in the South for a while. Okay, I moved out here 07. When you move out of the city and you move to a place where it's normal for people to say good morning, especially like, you know, you might do this right here. It's a show of respect. You know, it's like tipping your hat to somebody. We do that in the South a lot. I go back to New York. This is 2017. I go back because my son's baby shower. I'm standing outside my crib on Utica. Guy drives by. You know, we have eye contact or whatever, so I, I do this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on? This man speeds up Utica, busts a U-turn. Skirt! Came back around. Hey, yo, my n you know me? I was like, nah, bro. I was just saying, what up? Oh, all right. Then peels off, son. I forgot. It's not normal to say, how you doing to strangers in New York. If I do that same thing out here in the South, a motherfucker will hit you with a... They hit you with one of those, bro. It's a culture shock having to go back. That's how I know I'm a tourist. We move by different rules in New York. Even though it's getting gentrified, we the rules still apply. Majority of us that walk around New York walk around with a chip on our shoulder. When it comes to being from Brooklyn or being from the Bronx or being from the, the city... The five boroughs, the things that we embrace, it's PTSD. It's literally PTSD. We so proud of it. Yeah, I'm always on point. Why are you always on point? This has got to be the most savage thing I've seen all week. This man slides in this girl's DM. He says, hey, she sent him a balloon pop. <laughs> Bruh, do you know how diabolical it is that you slide in a girl's DM and she virtually pop your balloon like you in a YouTube video? That's how she telling you you ugly. I, this will be my 13th reason. I, bro just said, I. Right. You know he defeated. You know he, he gonna cry when he get in the car. Y'all be saying the worst she could say is no. This man got denied from emojis. She didn't even use words. It's crazy. I don't know. This has got to be the... Yo, son, nah, bro. Nah, bro. That whole sliding in people DMs, man. Fellas. Fellas. When you get some time, go on your Facebook and go back as far as you can and see how many DMs you done slid in. I did that at the beginning of the year. I was just at work randomly going through my phone and I'm just going I'm in my Facebook Messenger and I'm just sliding. Sliding, I'm like, I used to say some of the corniest shit. Honestly, I don't know how I got, I used to get pussy. Are you?